Hey there, everybody. How's it going? We're going to do a little pinball preview for you here tonight. Kind of a rundown of the auction for this weekend, which is uh, happening this Saturday, October 15th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Captain's Auction Warehouse is going to be selling 319 pinball machines, pinball lots, um, a lot of different eras, a lot of equipment. So I thought I'd give you a kind of a rundown of a lot of the machines that are going to be there. Kind of starting uh, on lot number one as we go along. Uh, this is going to be a Captain Fantastic by Bally. I uh, just want to give some examples of the play fields and the back glass that you're going to be seeing on Saturday. Uh, you know, I'll try to get the cabinets, but as you can see, we have line upon line of pinball machines uh, that are going to be selling this Saturday. Uh, 319, it's uh, across a couple of buildings here. We're pretty excited about it, so uh, enjoy. I'm just going to go along. I'll name some of them off and, uh, you know, try to spend a few seconds anyways just looking at the uh the glass so you can get an idea there's a lot of rare pieces that are going to be sold this is a bally doggies which is uh in german as you can see on the back glass right here uh play fields uh mini flippers looking good a lot of the play fields hopefully the uh well this will shoot you'll be able to kind of see uh an idea uh, through this video and you can always go to the website and look at still images as well we continue to upload the stills uh, to go along uh, with this i just figured i'd give you some supplemental things to look at here this is the bally rogo all these games are going to be sold on saturday uh, i don't have any of them turned on right now we're just uh, kind of going with it and i wanted to show some artwork um, not the history with them. We'll go over history on Saturday as well with a lot of these machines. There's a lot of rare pieces. Uh, so I'll focus a lot just on the artwork and the play fields. Uh, and we'll go for a few here so you can kind of check it out. And I am uh, previewing them right now in the order that they're going to be sold on Saturday. So um, that's what's going on. That's a Chicago Coin jukebox right there. Next, you got a Gottlieb Target Alpha. Uh, pretty cool here. Like I said, I'm focusing a lot on just the uh, some of the playfield artwork and then the back glass art as well. Good portion of these machines um, playing, and uh, you know some will have some tunes and tweaks like any electromechanical uh, pinball is going to need. Tune up, wake up, the whole bit. So we put little posty notes on a lot of them. And uh, we're continuing to look and get these uh, tweaked and tuned the best we can between now and Saturday. So like I said, once again, we're just kind of showing off artwork titles and, uh, you know, the quality of the uh, play fields, which are actually really nice. I mean, the majority of these pins are super clean. There's a lot of rare games as well. Uh, not since the Museum of Pinball uh, sale for pinballs have there been such a wide collection selection that's being sold at auction. Um, you know, we're changing some flipper rubbers. As you can see, some of them flipper rubbers are blown, but, you know, that's going to be part of the deal as well. So I will go along. This is the Gottlieb 300, uh, four-player Gottlieb right here. Looking good. Artwork, like I said, play fields are in really, really nice condition with a lot of these machines. Uh, then we've also got some, uh, these are the Bagatelle, like animated mechanical back box machines. We have a few of these in a row. This is a pretty rare Williams Casanova uh, right here. We'll give you kind of a sampling Try to keep the video a little uh, slowed down so we can make sure you get decent quality anyways, uh, as far as what you can see. And I'll just keep going along. We got another Williams is a pot of gold, pot of gold with a bagatelle in it there. It's a two player game. And once again, down on the artwork on the play field, which there are so many examples of really, really Sweet looking back glass and artwork on the play fields as well. Here's another one. 
and another the Apollo and the lunar shot which is interesting you've got the uh, I'm not sure which one's the out of balls but we put three in a row here that have the same play fields on them so I guess we're going from the lunar shot to the Apollo to the Williams blast off <laughs> All with the same play field. I'm sure, I'm not quite sure. The professor of pinball will let me know. There's add balls in here, I am sure. We'll find out on Saturday. I'm sure a lot of you already know. Uh, then we got this really cool, this is a Bally Gold Rush. Um, Bally also with a Bagatelle uh, style mechanical back box there. And the nice, I like the uh, Western themed Play fields and the mini flippers myself a little saucer there very cool for the 60s Williams Big Ben another one player game right here uh, looks like it's missing a couple of play field inserts we'll make sure to note that on the Big Ben the Bally Rocket 3 Rocket 3 with the mini flippers I'm not sure. I don't think those are zipper flippers. Uh, Rocket 3. Uh, there's a lot of cool two-player games as well. Uh, the Big Brave. It's another great-looking piece. Awesome play field. On the Big Brave. For all the boxers out there. Bally Knockout. That... that Wiggler style uh, wiggle lane that Bally put on quite a few titles. Plastic knife not included. <laughs> He's eating their dinner. I've got a Chicago coin astronaut that's going to be in the lineup here. Like I said, a lot of these titles you just do not see. Um, doesn't necessarily make them rare, like, oh, this has only got 50 made, but when you figure there's something that production line was only like 3,500 to 4,000, that's not a lot. And then what to see out in the wild. So this one, time zone. Williams, big deal. I'll keep it moving along here. It says no power on that. One of my faves, I like the Williams dealer's choice. They have the Hoyle style, I like card theme games right here. And I like the fluorescent colors that Williams chooses to use on quite a few of their titles. Then we have the rare Pinball by Stern, which this was the turnover. It's got the uh, electromechanical version here, not the solid state version. Playfield looks pretty nice. The Bally Wiggler, four player Wiggler. Very cool. The Nip It. Valley Nip It. This has the zipper flippers on it. Really nice play field on this. I believe this is a prototype model. It has the uh, it has the Nip It Gator in there. The professor of pinball will talk about that, I am sure. This one is super nice all the way. Glass, beautiful. And we got a Williams Big Strike one player. Once again, nice play field on that as well. If you're into collecting the, uh, you know, the electromechanicals, the one players, two player games, boy, this is a sale you don't want to miss. This is the wild card, Williams. One player right here. Once again, it's all about the play field and the back glass. Super, super nice. And we got the riverboat with a diamond tie stud right there. Williams riverboat. Again, another really nice looking play field on this as well. We've got uh, the wedge heads by Gottlieb early ones. We've got an Olympics. There's actually two Olympics in the sale uh, this Saturday. This one's super nice. 
Looks like all the parts are there, looking good. Nice back glass on that as well. Then we have the Gottlieb flipper. This flipper, it comes on, we're, we're working on it. Uh, power up. It's got the mini flippers on it, looking good. Um, it is missing the lockdown bar. We're gonna try and find one for that uh, by auction day. Back glass, yeah, it needs a lot of blue put back in it, but that's the original back glass. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I mean, I can still see all the colors, but boy, it's lost a lot of its spots. So anyhow, all right, next we got a pop a card. Pop a card, add a ball game right here. Nice play field on this. They've got a 2001 beautiful play field. I know I'm taking way too much time probably on a lot of these, but we'll do some more videos as well. Top card. Nice play field here. Then we'll go to a Golden Arrow, which I believe was the last Wedge head made by Gottlieb before they went to solid state. Someone will correct me on that. Gottlieb has some of the most colorful, detailed, cool play fields. Only in my opinion, of course. Love the artwork there. Then we have the rare Red Max Valley one player right here. This is one of those uh, electromechanicals that I guess serious collectors that, you know, collect the EMs or just have a collection that, you know, you want all the rarest games. And it's a cool game to play, too. It's so a working The Red Max by Bally. That glass is super nice on it. Playfield's got a little wear, a little wear down here on the Baron about to drop. Pretty cool, though. We've got a Bally Expressway is of that same vintage expressway by valley lots of colors good looking play fields little mushroom bumpers very cool and one of my favorites is the king rex king rex one player valley game right here i don't know why i like the name i like the artwork on it I guess you could say I like them all. King Rex, it is. King Rex. Got an on beam. Another on beam with a play field on here. Looks good. It's back glass. High deal, see? High deal. Valley high deal, one player game. Once again, I mean, check out the play field on some of these games here. Amazing. Amazing play fields. All right, and I'm pretty sure I'm actually going in order still. We got Punchy the Clown. Punchy, which is a, one of the rarest of Gottlieb minis. Yep, you'll be looking into that one there. Speaking of rare, we got a Gottlieb. Now we're into some solid state pins, electronic, asteroid Annie and the Aliens. Yes. And to admire, look at this play field, not plugged in, but it is all there and working. I believe there's a Nywump board in this particular unit right here. Uh, like Annie's green hair. Back glass has got some wear and flake on it, but it's not bad. It's a good example. Buck Rogers, here's another one right here. Fine example. Roller Disco, if you want all the neon colors. Here you go. Try to catch the play fields. Pinball Pool. Pinball Pool is another great drop target game. If you like the drop targets, that one's what it's all about. Sinbad, another great looking piece. Very nice play field, looks good. All four flippers. 
We'll come across a little bit of work going on here. We'll leave some to the imagination. Here's the Incredible Hulk. Working here too. Beautiful game. We've got a genie. I'm gonna speed through a few of these here. Genie. Solar Ride. These System One games right here. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. We'll kind of go over our notes on auction day, so I should just get back to showing you some play fields. And yeah. All right, and that is a countdown that's being worked on. Here's a working meteor by Stern. We've got some vintage Stern pins right here up. One of my favorite older Stern pins, the catacomb, catacomb. Very nice play field on this one here. Try to give you a second on that. Orbiter one. We have all the glass and everything. We're putting it together. Got a couple here, flight 2000, nine ball, stars, which we are working currently on those three to be up for the week. Here's a very nice condition, fully functioning Stern big game. This is the big game machine. This would be like an early Stern. All the super pins by Stern. This would be like a a, a wide body because it's bigger than most. So we got Genesis right here being looked at. We've got a Gottlieb Counterforce. Counterforce right there. I'll show you a little bit of the play field here. We've got a rare caveman. And we are working on this one currently as well. Mars God of War. Charlie's Angels. It's a nice working Charlie's Angels right here. System one. I believe it's, I think it has a nylon board in it. A lot of these Gottlieb System ones, they have uh, replacement boards in them which just makes them play uh, more reliable. Here we have a Gottlieb Pyramid. It's a rare two-player Gottlieb right here. Really nice play field on this pyramid. Looking good. Then we have the Bally Mad World. Mad World right here with the mini flippers. Hocus Pocus. Valley two player and look at the play field on some of these. It's just amazing. Amazing. Valley Safari. Once again, I am going kind of in order of how they're going to sell. Uh, of course, we'll have them lit up on auction day. So you'll get a chance to see them play or whatever position they're in at that time. A lot of electromechanicals, but great titles too. Gottlieb Scuba. The scuba two-player game. Nice play field on this one as well. Solar City. Solar City. Two-player Gottlieb. Name that. Name the four-player game. That'll be coming up on Saturday. William San Francisco two-player. It's another rare title too. I I never sold one at auction, and I've. Sold quite a few thousands of pinball machines. I'm looking forward to that. Now we have a beat time. Williams beat time. Back glass has some wear on it. Play field is nice. Looking good. The Boodles. It is the Boodles. We have a mini cycle. <laughs> mini. How about jumping jacks? Jumping jacks. That's right. Jumping jacks. Winner, winner. And this is the Williams Horse Racing winner. Nice condition. Super score. The play field on that is pretty awesome. Super flight. Like for the Concorde Superflight. The, the 
called coin. And we do have some pitch and bat games here that we're going to have in the auction. It's got a little wear down there. All good, though. That's Chicago coin. And we have the Williams fastball, which is like a super wide body uh, Williams pitch and bat. Oh, let's just do a pan on these so we can get to some other solid states. We got big hit, flipper fair. We've got top card. Another one we've got egghead, which is a Gottlieb. Egghead. Flipper parade. Gottlieb Domino. Nice play field on that. Williams Top Hand. Wing Ding. We got some mechanical back box games here. The Wing Ding. Beat the Clock. It's the original Beat the Clock. Bally made a Beat the Clock in the 80s. This is the Williams. I have to see about that. And we have triple action. It's a cool one player Williams game. Three Jokers by Williams. Magic Circle. Once again, this is just a video to give you some ideas. You know, watch it. Don't watch it. Fast forward through it. Just a little bit to give you a taste as we go through the week here on some of the machines that we are going to have available on Saturday, this Saturday. Here's a racquetball, Gottlieb, racquetball. Sorry about the glare on some of these, but that's what it is. Nice condition play field. That's why I like to emphasize the play fields and the back glass. The artwork on them, very nice condition for their age. I'm telling you, here's another golden arrow. I actually have two golden arrows in the sale. This is a very cool piece. Here's a really popular Gottlieb wedge head. This is the El Dorado. El Dorado, nice play field here. Ship Ahoy, which I believe is an Attaball for Buccaneer. I either have that backwards or forward. <laughs> I'll hear about it from somebody. There is an add a ball game. I think this is the one. All right, we have a Williams Solar Fire. More solid state games here. This is the Williams Solar Fire. It's a rare multi level early Williams game. Solid state. Really nice play field. I'll emphasize that and the back glass. We've got a Williams Time Warp coming in. We've got a Laser Ball. We've got Stellar Wars. Stellar Wars. Gorgar, the first talker. Look at the play field on that one, too. Super great color. Pretty awesome. The Williams Black Knight. Another awesome play field on that as well. And we'll be playing them at the auction as well. So working Williams World Cup, really, really nice. Great piece. Hyperball, looks like almost new condition. Not quite sure the status. We haven't powered this one up yet. The cabinet looks like next to brand new. Never mind the fan that's sitting on it <laughs> right now. But we'll check that out. Here's a super rare working 100%. We were playing it the other day, Defender. It's the Williams Defender pinball. It is a rare game and it's in rare condition. Does not have the plunger. We're putting a new plunger spring on this. But it is there, does play. Multicolored flipper bats. Firepower 2. Firepower. And yes, that is an original back glass and it looks beautiful. 
It's the first multi-ball Williams, and that is an original play field, too. It's got a little bit of wear, but very, very nice. Got a Star Wars trilogy. It's the round front Sega's Lost World Jurassic Park. Very cool. Got the Data East Jurassic Park. Got a Rocky and Bullwinkle. The Who Tommy. Exquisite Playfield. Everything's there. Phantom of the Opera. Time Machine, Data East Time Machine, Hook, Hook, Hook. Very nice. This is our Data East portion right here. Star Trek Checkpoint. And we got some Williams games. Here's Contact, Blackout. Flash. Mm. Really nice. One of my favorites, Baracora. Williams Baracora, right here. Super nice. This one's good all the way. Awesome looking cab, too. It's all original condition. We got a Williams Phoenix. A lot of colors, a lot of things going on here. The Phoenix, you know, Williams Fire. Play feels nice on this one. Jokers, another really nice piece. Space Shuttle with Topper, original Space Shuttle. Really nice play field. New battery holder installed on it. Space Shuttle. High speed, Williams high speed. Right here. We're going to get through this line right here and wrap it up really quick and we'll get this set. This is just a preview that we're doing here. Pinbot, the machine, Bride of Pinbot. Absolutely. And Jackbot to complete the trifecta. Jackbot Space Station, another Williams great title, Williams Bad Cats, mechanical back box, like that, like the feature of that, like the cat theme too, great playing game, Taxi, looks like Marilyn on top, and Lola in the play field, Alien Star, it's one of them quiet gotta have for the collection. Alien Star, Gottlieb Premier. Uh, Black Hole. Yes, Black Hole. Ground mods are all done on that. Super pin. And then we'll show you a very, very nice Gottlieb Volcano. It's a fairly rare game right here. Cool playing game, like all the features. So I think we're going to go ahead and end this particular preview, kind of give you a shot of the lines, and there's more that we didn't even cover, I believe, Fire Queen, down to Card Whiz, the whole bit. So be sure to tune in, CaptainsAuctionWarehouse.com, watch us on YouTube as well, we'll have 